going crazy. I'm running out of freaking SD cards here. Where we are today we're going to start off doing that and then we'll probably take it from there we might go to, go to another spot and fish the west off the bricks and then probably in the surf on the dead loads and yeah so the aim, aim of today is just to catch a couple of fish get a, get a little bit of league practice in uh, catch some hopefully a regular or two a diamond or two gray sharks that type of vibe and if the sea is not too flat and clean we'll put our little larvae for a cock too but stick with me stay tuned let's go One five four. What no way! No way! <laughs> no way! Come on, guys, I just landed an absolute fish of a lifetime. I cannot believe what just happened. On a reggae trace for a reggae, I just caught a cop for about 30 or 40 kilos. I can't believe what just happened to us. This is amazing. Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why we always dream of you in spring It's like the heat on my skin takes me back to the time That you wanna fight me Look at that fish! <laughs> Kelly's getting back Oh my word! This is why you travel across the world to come to South Africa. Check the size of this mile away. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can it go? Okay, put it in. Okay, so you can see we're in the water. We are just holding her. There's a lot of swell coming from the front. We're letting the water go across the gills. We haven't kept out the water long at all. It's an absolutely stunning fish, bro. Yeah, this is a oh, fish so of life. I'm so happy. This is a fish <laughs> of life. Oh, my God. You've been waiting thing. so many years for this. Okay. Yo. You think she's ready to swim? Just hold her by the tail almost. Like keep her upright. Just and then like this. Hold it just in the back in your middle, your middle in the middle. Okay. Wow, what a special experience. Oh my gosh. She's still breathing nicely. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Oh, there we go. There okay, we she's go. Sticking, boys. There we go. Yes! That is yeah. such a blessing. No, no. <laughs> what the actual? <laughs> oh my man. What do you want to say, Rod? Uh, guys, I'm speechless. I'll scream my voice away. Never in a thousand years did I think I was going to wake up this morning and catch that fish. I'm so blessed. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Uh, so we've moved, changed spots. We just had a nice brekkie roll from Nina's. And a lovely cappuccino, and we are going to try a remake bronze and scarf. <laughs> no, okay, so um, we've moved to George Road, and we are going to see if we can find some diamonds. There's quite a bit of color in the water, so I'm quite excited. And this will be really good practice getting a couple of bites. So I really hope to play along. The water temperature is a little bit cooler than it was the last year, the last while. There's a lot of cold water sitting out of the bay, which means the warm water comes all the way, pushes into this corner here and generally the fish then hog this area quite a lot so hoping that is exactly what happened let's see okay well there we go guys i've got a very nice fresh mackerel from angling marine here in jeffrey's bay beautiful little store if you're in the area make sure to visit them we're just running through a quick little uh, diamond bait it's very straightforward i've got a dangle here that i've already made so i'm going to try use that length just gonna cut it, it's still very frozen. Gonna trim it a tiny bit just to make it a bit more aerodynamic and to expose a bit more of the flavors. Without stabbing my hand. There we go. So, this is a dingle dangle. There are tons of videos on YouTube and how to use and make this basically it goes through the middle of the bait like that and you're gonna clip you're gonna take your hook you're gonna stick it through the bottom jaw through the hole and through the top jaw of the macro and you're gonna clip your bait your sinker sorry on there and it's gonna throw as one object nice and aerodynamic now it's just gonna fillet it Taper my fillet usually, just so it can fold over nicely, and I just cut it like that. I tap it a bit. Now that's going to mold nicely around my head. On this side, going to wrap quite it like that. Then something I like to do is I do a lot of cotton between the base of the hook and the bottom of the head it's going to help in two reasons one it's going to keep the hook in a firm place preventing it from getting pulled into the bait when you throw and two it's going to stop the bait from getting pulled off very easily then a lot of cotton at the bottom of the hook where the, bot where the hook meets the, the base of the of the mackerel head good quad about there yes mate one side dirty, one side clean. So I like to fish for my diamonds. Hopefully it works out. Let's go. There's a patch of color. So I'm gonna try hit that color. Oh, the water temperature is perfect. Oh, it's gonna be on the donkey top. Now we wait, now 
Now we wait. The west is starting to blow. The temperature of the water is good. It's gonna get a little bit more color. The tide is turned. You're gonna get a big push. There has to be fish here. Has to, has to, has to be. Getting a bite, guys. Oh, maybe the sinker bouncing, maybe a diamond. Cop, it's a cop, I can tell. We're joking, but there's been a couple here this season. Yeah, feels like a diamond. Yes, sir. Reggie. Feels like a reggae almost. It's a reg. It's a freaking reggae. All right, pretty sure we honor the reggae. Not geared for him, we're fishing with a bite trace. But it's a long bite trace, so I fancy my chances. And you're back. <laughs> Is he with the claim bag? It's with the bag. Dogs are not a grey. He's not a good guy, man. Huh? I don't know what's happening here, guys. Feels like a grey now all of a sudden. It's got no power. Didn't fight much. Now I've got him over the lip and he's, he's panicking and thrashing his tail. So important now is to keep tension, but not too much tension. You don't want to get that fish too frightened, especially because I'm fishing a bite trace. It's not very big though, but it's a good start. It's a gully shark. It's a gully, it's not a reggae. So it is a gully, it's not a reggae. That explains why it didn't have much power. It's a nice big gully. But these things are a nightmare. In the they get the traces so wrapped up. Nice big gully. Male. Feisty little fella. Not a raggy, but a bite nonetheless. Let's get him back. There we go. Bye. Fish had me puzzled, guys. I must have sounded like an idiot. <laughs> It's a reggae! No, it's not a reggae. It is a reggae! No, it's not a reggae. <laughs> well, I'm hoping to catch some diamonds now. Let's see, let's see. The water really looks good, guys. Good temperature, a lot of color. And Rods is on there, lads. Bronson's on, let's go have a look. And it looks like a diamond, gents. Yes, it is. So that's a good sign if it is a diamond because these guys feed together and we are there. We are here. We are here for them today. So if there's one, there should be more. got the first targeted species here, first diamond at Anz Avenue, nothing monstrous, 20 odd kilos, but still at least it's the right fish. Oh, Bronson's cleaning up. <laughs> Everyone asked how many points me and Emma are behind Bronson today. <laughs> Not the, not a monster, but still the pickup is absolutely awesome for these diamonds. Yeah, it's the second diamond, let's hope that as the tide pushes and the west blows a bit, they start smashing over here. Hello! <laughs> Oh, 
right, my raggy rod got a bite. There we go. What? What the? It is gesehen! Guys, I just saw the weirdest thing. I don't know what the hell that was. Look very big and black. I wonder if it's a black ray. Okay, the, the rod went ate very smoothly and something very big and black came to the surface almost like a black ray but the red storm would come to the surface Why are we at the sea off the surface? Nee, nee, nee. Moet het zwart doen. Dat broke up. Wat ik bedoel, de vis die ik zag komt op de surface was proper. Really was proper. Nee, dat doesn't look right. Het was, maar dat was een goede lijn. Ik kan nog steeds de lijn, Brons. Ik ga terug onder hier, zodat je gom is. Oh, frek, is een reggie met die in hier. Daar gaat mijn andere rod. Zie je dat? Ik weet niet wat ik heb gehoord. Het is niet een area known for iets grappig. Dus ik ben niet heel zeker dat het iets grappig is. Maar mijn andere rod ging. Het is of een uh, reggie of een groot diamond, maar het kwam naar de surface. Um, either a, a, a reggie or a And this fish, I don't know what it is, but when it came to the surface, it was big and black. And it ate like a big flatfish, so maybe it's a black ray. But there's quite a bit of reef in the back. So the update, Duvan's rod went only through it for rag, a massive big black thing came onto the surface uh, when he hooked it, so we're very keen to see what it is. He's just farting, and while he's farting, his other rod over there went down ruins because he's fighting a fish on his other rod. So it's a bit of chaos, but let's get it out. Ruan, how's it feel to use Duvan Stella? Lacquer. I might drop it in the sand later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, looks like we have that same gully shark again, yeah? Um, so Duvan's one rod went. And then I held his other one, and as I held it, it got a bite. And then his, his fish came all the way to the right, and it was a big tangle. But this gully, as it picked up the bait, it came straight up into the surface, and then we thought it was a ragged the whole time. Um, but it was a nice male gully. Very bad. Guys, it's a very big fish. The figure that I saw came up was big. They didn't look sharky to me, but it looked very big. And the problem is about 350 meters out this reef and I'm about 300 meters out. So I'd rather take my chances trying to pull very hard, see if I can get it to turn, than it going into the reef. But it's stuffing me up, my back is dying. And there's a lot of pressure on this fish. Now we're in. Our suspicions are going towards a thorn tail or black ray. 
more likely a thorn tail, I think, just the way it's fighting. Um, and a thorn tail often comes to the surface. But yeah, it's, it's, very, it's definitely a very strong fish, and uh, I put a lot of pressure, and I managed to stop her, I think, just before the reefs. So now I'm just running slowly, I'm walking back, maximum pressure, till the point where almost feel like I can't go anymore and I stay there for a split second and then she either comes or she takes a bit of line. So this is going to be the fight for the next half an hour. The advantage of pulling hard is you don't give them a chance to sit. We've managed to get into the front probably within 40 minutes, and Bronson's gonna grab it by the tail <laughs> with his mouth. <laughs> okay, because he can. I'll try, I'll try my best. <laughs> Good. Guys, nice black ring. This is a 200 kilo black ring. Yeah. It's a monster. Okay. Yeah, that's a monster. <laughs> okay, guys, it's a proper, proper black ray. This, I guess, at least 160, maybe more. Shows you what proper tackle can do. Rising XX8, dating the ultra tough 50 pound. Yeah, I'm very tough. This is a tank. An absolute bus. Yeah, what a fish. Beautiful. Check how high they are from the floor. That key distinct. They aren't so long, but they're very, very high off the floor. It's a beautiful, beautiful fishing. Right, we're going to take a quick picture. We get it back. Right, 40 no. 14 OBKK. There you go. Let's get her out. Back. There we go, there's another nice looking bait for you guys. Got a mackerel head with some mullet flaps and mackerel flaps around. And we'll throw it in this brown water. It's a little bit quiet, it isn't what it should be. Uh, but at least we've got some good fish. But what I mean is I expected a couple of more diamonds. And they generally don't like the full eye here. So I'm not expecting it to become fireworks now. But let's see, let's see. Not gonna stop me from trying! Want another diamond, man. I want a nice big diamond. Or fluke a cob like Bronson. So 
now seven fish or so it's not fireworks at all but there are bites it's really nice to be here with the mate catch a couple of fish and i'm pretty sure this is another a diamond ray Getting bites. Don't know what's going on here. Is it a bass or a bait? Duvan, it's crazy guys. There we have Ruan. <laughs> My diamond is away there. Oh, I think it's a better diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. I, I can't do anything, eh? But you can always tell if it's a raggy by the distinctive um, head shakes it has. Almost like a cob. As we know, they can be confused, eh, Bronze? <laughs> Circle looks, we've got a bite trace on. 
DKK, Rhino in the corner there, as you can see. And it's literally made it possible for me to land this fish. The fact that I'm fishing a circle. Yeah. Okay, Nice raggy, probably about 140. Very sandy, because it's obviously a sandy area that's come from. It's not dark in color at all. Yeah, stunning fishing. What, what, what a day. <laughs> Coming in. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Are we on again, boys? <laughs> um, we've been throwing mackerel the whole day, and we've gotten a lot of fish uh, from diamonds, gullies, raggy. Duvan got a nice raggy. Um, and the black one was on yellowtail, right? Yeah. But mostly mullet baits all the time in this. Such a big variety of fish here. It's actually so cool to see. Um, but the diamond's so close, we're gonna get it out just now. Are you guys with him? Good luck. Yes. Yes, so. How's that for drumming noise? The raggy. That the yellow tail it. Oh. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys. I think this is the last fish of the day. We're about to pack up. And I had a yellow tail head out and went. That seems to be a decent sized bag. <laughs> right, guys, just finishing off the day. Lovely male ragged fish shark. I see she's got a tag in her, so we can get the numbers. Check it out. Okay, Ruth. Uh, it looks so nice with the sun on you. Job. Yeah, that looks cool. Hey guys, the rod's running through the rods. <laughs> guys it was a crazy crazy day it was really enjoyable and a better way to spend it than with great mates and a better way to end it than with a bucket of kfc <laughs> and some beers just <laughs>